How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fall 2005. Now last week I did a video talking about the current state of the game, about how it's quite broken for quite a lot of people. Loads of bugs, crashes, just issues with the game in general. Now there's been a few updates since then, but more importantly, as of just a couple of days ago this week, we received quite a small and subtle update fixing quite a few issues and we're going to discuss that update today and see if the game is actually running any better and see what they've actually fixed now if this video does help you out or you'll enjoy it guys please do consider subscribing to the channel now i told you in my video last week to put down in the comments section any issues you are currently having with the game and what console you're on now the feedback on that video was amazing it was quite interesting to see in the comment section who had what issues what console they were on and so on and so on and I want you guys to do that today. Play this new update that's available now and see if the game's running any better. Let's see if it's massively improved like it's supposed to have. Now we do have the release notes for this update. Let's have a look at what they have tinkered with. Game stability. Now, I'm sure you've experienced this, but up till last week, there was a major issue with the game where people were getting stuck in an infinite save loop. This was one of the biggest issues with the game and it basically forced you to restart the game. I'm sure you have this issue yourself. Now, this was fixed last week on December the 7th. However, it is noted that this issue was still around a little bit, but they have found the root core of the issue and fixed this entirely now. There's been some other stability issues fixed as long with a crash that appeared from update 2 as well. So according to this they have fully fixed the infinite loading screen issue. If you are still having that issue I'd be very interested to know in the comment section below to see if this is true and if they have actually fully resolved it. Convoys. This is another big one. They say that the convoys and disappearing players are their top priority. They said that they're continuing to investigate it but they have identified one issue which were causing players to become invisible and sort of unload out of the convoy. While this doesn't say that they fixed it completely, I personally and quite a few other people have had much better experiences with convoys now. As I said earlier, let me know in the comment section below, what are your convoys like now after this update that was just released yesterday? They don't actually say that they have fixed convoys completely here, they are saying that they are giving it further work, but for me personally, they have been improved quite a lot. So they have fixed the infinite loading screens and they have improved the convoys. What else? Multiplayer. Now they have apparently fixed issues with the Eliminator. I personally have had quite a lot of issues with the, with the Eliminator. People not loading in, races just being bugged and lots of hackers and cheaters if I'm honest. But they said that improvements have been made to the Eliminator. I've yet to see that myself but I'm sure they have. Now another issue that isn't necessarily a big issue but it definitely affects how the game feels is the traffic online traffic has now been improved. It is not intentional for there to be no civilian traffic when you are in a Horizon Live session with your friends in a convoy. There's supposed to be traffic, however, quite often there hasn't been and they have identified further issues with this and sorted them out. There is still more work to do but they have said they have actually changed and improved the overall stability of the multiplayer lobbies and the multiplayer convoys. They do actually say at the end here we have also identified and fixed an issue that sometimes prevented players from joining another player's server when attempting to initiate a convoy. Now this could be another issue that was fixed related to convoys. If you joined your friend's convoy or if you created one, your mates might not have been pushed into the same server as you, therefore not loading them in. This apparently has been fixed, which would make sense as to why convoys work a lot better now. Now the next and final bit is the disappointing bit, but unfortunately it's completely understandable. They basically say that with holidays approaching, you know, Christmas and New Year, all the developers and the player and games team are going to want to spend time with their family, which means that there will be a pause on development, the updates and the fixes. Meaning that the current state the game is in as of today, December the 16th, will probably be unchanged for quite a few weeks now as unless they have a hot, another hotfix ready, there won't be any other fixes or updates coming while the devs are off over the holidays. Which is another reason to really hope that the game is running at least at a smooth level now for all players. Now if you've played Forza Horizon 5 in the past week and you've played the festival playlist you'll know that there has actually been an issue with the treasure hunt challenge and a, f a few people have had issues with other challenges as well but me personally and pretty much everyone else can't do the treasure hunt challenge. 
which not gonna lie is very annoying i want the treasure hunt challenge for me accolades and i want 100 percent but that is going to be impossible because nobody has been able to complete the treasure hunt challenge now they do address this here and they do say that they are looking into a solution to fix this problem so hopefully they can fix this but i don't know how they're going to fix it before today because by the time you watch this video the season will be over which means that we can't complete the treasure hunt challenge anymore which is very disappointing because I wanted to get 100% this series and I'm sure all of you did too. It also makes the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ a lot harder to get as you need to complete more challenges over the next seasons because we couldn't do the treasure hunt one. Very annoying but hopefully I don't really see what they can do about it now it's a bit too late because the season's coming to an end so according to them they have fixed quite a few issues and as i said earlier let us know in the comment section below let's have another discussion about how the game is currently running because the chances are how the game's currently running is how we're going to be stuck with it for the next few weeks at least in my opinion anyway now unfortunately it does seem like quite a few big youtubers are still having major issues with the game even as of today after the recent update you all know Joe, the big Forza YouTuber, one of the best out there. He was having major issues with the game a few weeks ago and he's not appeared back. Whether that means he's not played the game since the most recent update or not, we don't know. But he was having issues to the point where his game doesn't even launch, you know, really bad. Now, as I said in my previous video, what we can do is make our voice heard about any issues we are still having. The game is running loads better now. However, there are obviously still some issues. So if you are having any issues, let them know, you know, help out where you can. I agree, it's stupidly frustrating, but we've got to do what we've got to do. Now, there is a link in the description below of all of the known issues that Forza Horizon 5 has. It's a pretty big list. But it is good to see that if your issue is on that list, it is being sorted out. There is quite a lot of them, but quite a few of them are sort of minor, if I'm honest. As frustrating as it's been to see Fox 2005 in this state since launch, Player and Games are working on it. They are actually pushing out quite a lot of updates. And to be honest, they are fixing it. It's just taking a little bit of time and they're doing it issue by issue but anyway guys yeah let's see if the game now runs a lot better and hopefully is it a complete standard running smoothly now anyway guys leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon 5 content on all of the new updates i'll see you all later